Hi, welcome to day three of multiplying and dividing fractions. Today we're going to talk about canceling. You're canceled. Yeah, you're not going to get canceled. Just kidding. What's going to get canceled is some of our numbers. So when you are canceling, you can use one numerator and one denominator to see if they cancel. Okay, it can also be the these two, but we're going to talk about when it's across. We're going to call it cross canceling. And so what you're going to do is you're going to look for this numerator and this denominator and see if they have a shared factor. In this case, they do. Four goes into both of them. So four goes into eight two times. And four goes into four one time. So we're actually changing. Now we're going to use this as our numerator 2, and this is the denominator over here is 1. Now let's look at the other numerator and denominator. Do they share a common factor? They do. It's 3. So 3 goes into both of them. 3 goes into 3 one time, and 3 goes into 9 three times. So now we're going to do 2 thirds times 1 over 1, which is 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. And, sorry, yeah, 2 times 1 is 2, and 3 times 1 is 3. Okay, let's look at another example. So, we're going to try to cross-cancel here. It can be up and down, but we're going to go this way, okay? So, is there a factor that goes into 4 and into 20? Yes, it's 4. It go, 4 goes into 4 one time, 4 goes into 20 five times. Do these two share a factor? Yes, it's 11. 11 goes into 11 one time, and 11 goes into 22 two times. One times two is two, and one times five is five. So our answer is two fifths. Okay, both of those ended a certain way. Let's see if we can, what happens in other circumstances. Okay, so does 3 go into 12? Yes. So 3 goes into 12, or the common factor is 3. So 3 goes into 3 one time. 3 goes into 12 four times. These do not share a common factor, so we can't do anything with those. So now we have 5 fourths times 1 fourth. We're going to do 5 times 1, the numerator, time, the numerator times the numerator, and 4 times 4, 16. And you'll notice this is already in lowest terms because we already found the factors and did the simplifying by using the cancellation. So I hope that helps you and good luck on your lesson today. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye.